Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about plugin wrapper. So plugin wrapper is like a physical render file for a control. We use a PR for an applet to make the applet look like something different. Uh, like a list applet can be made to look like a card applet or map uh, applet as we see in contact list. So instead of uh, doing it for the whole applet, if you want to do uh, some change for a particular control we use plugin wrapper for example every control that you see here has one class associated to it this is a drop down plugin wrapper this is a pick plugin wrapper field plugin wrapper a normal field plugin wrapper checkbox plugin wrapper so each type of the control you see like a pick a date one date field drop down checkbox everything um, is mapped to a class uh, in pwinfra.js file. So let me show you what the file looks like. So this is the file. It has the definition of all the controls. For example, you can see radio pw for radio buttons. checkbox so checkbox pw here you can see checkbox pw so for every type of control a normal drop down control for everything it has definitions of how the control should look how the control should behave and what actions need to be done on this for example if you look at this control it's a drop down control and if i click on this it uh, opens the drop down list of values so the click of this is associated to the drop down in bind events of the plugin wrapper so a plugin wrapper is essentially a class associated a behavior associated to a particular control now I have chosen this duration field here uh, and try to customize it with this slider and uh, I have this file now here it looks the structure looks very similar to a PR for an applet so these are the functions uh, same names as in a PR show UI bind events set value and uh, similar to what we do in in our applet PR show UI is uh, when the applet loads in the UI we do some extra logic here in show UI Bind events is where we bind events like click, uh, double click, or whatever we want to bind an event here. Set value is when the control is uh, show. If the control shows some value, that value gets set from this function. So uh, we have one extra piece of code here this is especially for uh, plugin wrap wrapper files so here we actually extend the uh, function so for the combo box we are extending our slider PW only on some conditions so I'm setting a return value here so what I did is for controls uh, control which has display name duration I'm returning a true value so this file, this whole file gets applied when uh, for all the controls that has display name duration. So here I have the duration field and I used it for this. You can have a complex condition here. You can have, uh, uh, you can get the applet name and apply it only for this applet. So apply the condition only for this applet to run so all these conditions so conditionally using the extending the class is controlled here in this section so for this slider to appear i have written some code in show ui um, after the parent class show ui call i am getting my current element and uh, for the current element i am setting the uh, slider options and calling 
jQuery UI slider function. This is uh, this will set the actual slider with this value, uh, minimum, max, and step values. So it creates a slider here. But once the slider is shown, if I slide it back or slide forward, the value gets should get changed. So for that, I have written code in bind events. So on slide function, on slider slide function, I am setting the uh, value here uh, using uh, on control event. So I am setting the controls value, UI value into the field. And uh, when the applet loads in the show UI, the field already has some value and that value should I mean the slider should stop at that value right so for the slider to set the present fields value I'm using the set value function and in the set value I'm getting the uh, value of the field and I'm setting it in the slider instead of doing it in show you I show you I executes only once but set value execute multiple times so for example if I go to a next record the next records field value should uh, should be set in the slider also but in show UI that doesn't work so that's why I'm using set value function this gets executes every time the field value changes the controls field value changes the control that matches this condition so here you see the slider in action so for the slider to come you have to add some CSS also I have got the CSS from uh, slider uh, from Google. I have set some slider CSS like this UI slider, UI slider handle. So I got it from jQuery UI slider. You can search it on Google and find the documentation. So you can see this in action. If I slide back, the field value gets changed. And I can con totally hide this field value. I can hide the field itself here. Say okay. So you can see the, the field itself is hidden, but if I slide in, slide out, the field value gets changed. You can see when I change the duration, the end date is getting changed. The field is field value change is getting affected here so this is how we can extend the look on feel of a control and uh, plugin wrapper can be used to a greater extent to make the application look and behave so differently from Siebel I have uh, used plugin wrapper in, uh, in a use case to build like uh, a search a complex search uh, screen like this so here uh, this is this is the account list view and I have a search on the left left hand side I can multi select some fields and query and I can get the result on the right hand side so this is this is an example of like how to extend the uh, plugin wrapper here I have used a plugin wrapper to extend a drop down field and uh, create a custom input object that can store multi select values and that can be passed here I can show you the code in action let me take another example here so I'm selecting customer and prospect statuses and let me execute this code so you can see the R condition getting copied here so I'm actually doing a, 
new query and doing an execute query with field value here and yes here you can see the result so uh, I, we can use plugin wrapper to make the application this whole application look like ebay site or something the whole uh, search you can have a multi-select search and have different conditions different look and feel for each control so we can literally bring everything from uh, any application we see from anywhere on on the internet and uh, put that particular control look and feel in UI in Siebel. Thank you.